Welcome back to the channel everyone crypto takeover here coming back with another Bitcoin cryptocurrency video for you Bitcoin right now hovering under $60,000 sitting at about 58,600 and uh, yeah we're steadily climbing back up to that $60,000 area folks and we're going to be taking a look at our article along with the charts here so Ether has definitely just put in the new all-time high of $3,000 we've been calling for this we've been waiting for this and it has happened folks so super exciting times Ether hits 3,000 and Bitcoin crypto dominance declines so that just means that that these alts are gonna probably continue to rally folks. So let's go ahead and cue that intro and get started. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, folks. Check out, check out the links in the description box below. If you want to join us on our private trading group page, there's a link in the description box below. If you want to make sure that you have Discord um, when you join us through the private trading group page. We just use Patreon as a payment processor, pretty much. So uh, let's get started here, folks. So ETH is putting in this new all-time high at $3,000. Bitcoin dominance steadily declining. Bitcoin dominance is a total coin market. Total cryptocurrency market value is declining and its next biggest rival, Ether, reaches $3,000 milestone. The rise of Ether suggests there's room for more one, uh, one winner among digital tokens as the sector evolves. Bitcoin now accounts for about 46% of total crypto market value, down from roughly 70% at the start of the year, and Ether makes up 15% according to the according to tracker CoinGecko. Bitcoin remains the biggest cryptocurrency, but the momentum in other tokens is drawing increasing interest. Proponents argue investors are getting more comfortable with a variety of tokens while critics contend the sector may be in the grip of a stimulus-fueled mania. Cryptocurrencies were uh, broadly higher on Monday. Bitcoin climbed above $58,000 while Ether pumped 6% to 3150 3, Ethereum is rising and not much seems to be in its way. Uh, let's see, adding that uh, other tokens were also seeing uh, fresh interest. The current distribution of market also or share also reflects an April shakeout in the cryptocurrency sector. Bitcoin has yet to recover all the ground it's lost after tumbling from amid uh, $64,800 last Monday. The crypto listing exchange Coinbase Global in the U.S. latest sign of how more investors are embracing the sector despite uh, risks from high levels of volatility and expanding regulatory scrutiny. Ether is currently occupying the limelight, an upgrade of the inflated Ethereum blockchain as well as the network's popularity for financial services and crypto collectibles are among the factors cited for the rally. Uh, Evercore ISI strategy retross has set a target for $390,000 uh, ETH for the token. Other cryptocurrencies have jumped to price. The price of Bitcoin is up. Um, 3,400% over the past 12 months, according to CoinGecko. Doge, a token, started as a joke in 2013, but social media favorite, uh, tooted by the likes of Elon Musk, has surged 15,000% to a market value of $50, $50 billion. Folks, this is crazy times, man. Absolutely incredible times right now. Um, and we are in the midst of it all. And if you've been here, um, let me know down below how you're sitting right now because this is absolutely incredible stuff that's happening right now. I mean, I remember when ETH was well under $1,000 like a couple of years ago. And uh, hopefully everyone was stacking, you know, and um, continuing to gather some of these alts too as well. So <laughs> let's go ahead and jump on over to the charts, see where Bitcoin and uh, the cryptocurrency uh, markets might be headed to. All right, so taking a look at the daily chart here, folks, uh, as uh, right now, Bitcoin is hovering right underneath uh, $59,000, sitting at about 58500 and we're starting to see this uh, support trend line still being held here on our daily chart. Um, it, did, it did look like we were going to break below it, but we'll zoom in just a tad bit here and just see what's happening. Looking at Market Cipher, Market Cipher still has a momentum web that's headed to the upside here. Money flow starting to recover. VWAP still moving off to the side too, so things are looking pretty good. We have our buy signal with Market God also on our candlesticks too. So definitely a nice little bullish rally um, to be expected here. Uh, hash ribbons is starting to possibly recover here as well. If we look at the daily chart, you can also start to see that uh, we're getting into our lighter green territories. And so we could definitely see that buy signal as anticipated to possibly shoot us really, really high up here pretty soon. So um, let's kind of zoom in here, dissect a little bit. Um, let's take a look at the 12 hour chart, see what's happening here, 12 hour chart. Um, money flow still looking a little bit thin here on market cipher but our momentum waves are still headed to the upside no sign of a red dot just yet so that's still pretty good it's taking a look at the six hour chart six hour chart Ooh, i like the six hour guys um, looking at market cipher here um, first thing i notice is that our money flow is starting to 
head back into that greenish territory. So once we move back up above the zero pivot point into our greenish territory, this is going to be a relatively nice move for us too as well. If we uh, take a look here at the candlesticks, uh, it does look like we are finally breaking through our resistance trend line. Uh, our green resistance trend line that was holding us at 57,000. Um, that was our original price target and now we're finally breaking through it with some uh, volume here with uh, the money flow moving back into that greenish territory. Um, that's gonna be a nice substantial volume. EMAs are uh, bullish crossing here too as well. Uh, so you can see here that we did uh, kind of have a little bit of a scare here. It did look like we were gonna break below this support trend line. We got the nice bounce from it. And now it looks like we're probably gonna continue up higher here, folks. So I would expect probably a pretty nice little price rally to come out of this, uh, easily going back up to $60,000. Um, yeah, in the near term future. So uh, I would keep a close eye on that. Taking a look at the four hour chart here. Four hour chart, uh, it does look like our momentum waves are starty, starting to maybe kind of round off here just a tad bit as maybe some of the altcoins start to rally as well too. Um, but still, as long as we hold this uh, support line here for us, uh, then I do think that we're probably gonna have uh, you know a further move to the upside. So if we move back over here, you can see that if, as long as we hold uh, this support line, then I think that we're probably gonna continue to probably move up here to our uh, blue line, which is at about $60,000. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the two to three hour chart, see what's happening here. Two hour chart does look like momentum waves are maybe wanting to take a little bit of a break here. So we could see us to come back down to retest the 21 EMA, maybe on the uh, four hour or the two hour time frame. Uh, two hour uh, 21 EMA is sitting at about 57,500. So if we are to come back down to retest that, we wanna make sure we hold so we want to make sure that we hold the 21 EMA, uh, which is this orange line at about 57,500. Um, if we hold that, then we'll probably um, prevent ourselves from touching the support line down here for us too as well. Um, so definitely looking for some of those bounces off of the lower or mid time frames on the 21 EMA and things are looking good. So let's take a look at ETH really quick. Might as well just go ahead and dive on over into ETH just for the sakes of it. <laughs> so let's take a look at the daily chart here and see what's happening. Man, the daily chart just looks absolutely incredible, folks. Uh, we got this break out of our consolidation phase uh, not too long ago. And um, lo and behold, we uh, moved all the way up to $3,000. And now we're sitting at about $3,150. So ETH is still steadily climbing here, folks. Uh, our next um, extension is probably at about $3,800. So it's a possibility. Um, I would definitely think that ETH might want to take a cool off period before we continue to head up higher. Um, but as of right now, man, I'm looking at this four hour chart and Market Cipher is just showing us uh, a huge money flow, um, very thick here in the green, I'm probably going to continue to rally. So it doesn't look like ETH wants to settle anytime soon. This definitely looks very, very bullish for us, uh, especially with that huge thick money flow on our mid time frames here um eth is definitely looking like it wants to rally so even on our two hour money flow is still looking absolutely incredible um and it does look like we are holding support above the 21 ema on the two hour chart um, so you de definitely could see these bounces back to the 21 ema on the two hour and then probably continue up from there too so we do have red dots that are appearing on our smaller time frames when it comes to eth but i do think that we're probably going to continue to rally here, maybe come back down um, and retest support on the 21 EMA and then maybe bounce from there. So ETH is definitely looking really, really uh, bullish too, folks. Man, this is absolutely incredible times, folks. Don't forget, if you wanna join us in our private trading group page, we talk about all of our alts that we're getting into. We have a list of altcoins that we're getting into and consolidating into as of right now as well too. And um, taking those profits along the way, folks. So I hope everyone's uh, out there, you know, making sure that they are um, doing themselves um, of justice and taking profits as, uh, you know, much of you, have accumulated over the past maybe a couple of years, then why not go ahead, treat yourself. And uh, you know, I, I think that that will be the best thing uh, for you in these markets. And so folks, don't forget to uh, look at like, comment, subscribe, hit the not notification bells. Man, I'm at a loss for words. I, it's just absolutely incredible stuff happening right now. So good stuff. Um, I look forward to seeing y'all back here on the channel. Don't forget, we have a 5% off discount code for Market Cipher. If you want to check that out too as well, you can. I look forward to seeing y'all back here once again. CTO signing out. Peace.